In this problem, we're told an electron in a cathode ray tube is traveling horizontally at 2.1 times 10 to the 9 centimeters per second when a deflection plate gives it an upward acceleration of 5.3 times 10 to the 17 centimeters per second squared. A, how much time does it take for the electron to cover a horizontal distance of 6.2 centimeters? And B, what is its vertical displacement during this time? So the first thing you always want to do is draw what's going on, right? So we have this particle. Imagine this is the particle, right? And it's going to be traveling at a velocity of 2.1 times 10 to the 9 centimeters per second, right? And then it's going to be hit. Right, and its acceleration in the y is going to become 5.3 times 10 to the 17 centimeters per second squared. Right, and then at this point, it's going to start traveling a bit upwards, right, but it's still going to be traveling horizontally, right? And we're trying to find how long it's going to take to travel 6.2 centimeters, right, but it's going to be traveling up like this. And we want to find also how far it travels in the y, right? So that's basically what we're trying to find. And so the way you approach these problems is by finding the kinematic variables like that are, you're given in the x and the y, right? So let's just go ahead and do that. So given and then you just want to write x and y so what information are you given in the x and y so let's just start so we know the velocity initially right horizontally is going to be this right so and this is going to be in the x right because they tell us the thing is traveling horizontally at this speed right so its initial is 2.1 times 10 to the 9 centimeters per second and so they tell us there's only a horizontal velocity and what that means is there's no uh vertical velocity right so v sub zero y or the initial velocity in the y is just zero so it's zero centimeters per second. So that's going to be the velocity. Now let's move on to the acceleration, right? So in the beginning, it's going to be hit with a constant acceleration, right? In the Y, which means that there's going to be no uh, acceleration in the X. So A sub X is just zero. So we can ignore that. Okay. Because it's just going to be moving constantly in the X only in the Y does the velocity or the acceleration change. But A sub Y, right? We're, we're told what it is. It's 5.3 times 10 to the 17 centimeters Per second squared right so we know that and then what do we know in the x so what we're trying to do is find how far this thing is going to travel in the x after it travels 6.2 centimeters right so or how long right how long that takes sorry so 6.2 centimeters and what we're trying to do is solve for t okay so that's that uh let's just keep doing the y though so for the y what we're trying to find is we know v sub zero y and we know a sub y right and what we're trying to do is find delta y right we're trying to find delta y but notice uh Right, what other kinematic variables are there? There's v sub zero, there's a, there's delta, uh, delta y, and then there's t, and then there's also uh, v final, right? V final y. We're not going to know v final y, so what we don't know is that. But what we will be able to find out is the time. And you'll see why we do it, but let's just do this because it's going to see uh, how we solve for the time, right? So for the first part, it's going to have some velocity, right? And we're trying to find how long it takes to travel 6.2 centimeters, right? And what we know is distance equals velocity times time. Right, so if we divide both sides by v, you can find how long something takes if you have the distance and you divide it by how fast it's traveling. So the distance it's going to travel is 6.2 centimeters, right? And then how fast it's traveling is this right here, 2.1 times 10 to the 9 centimeters per second, right? So basically you just want to take 6.2, uh, right? You want to do 6.2 and then divide by 2.1 times 10 to the 9. And when you go ahead and do that, you're going to get that it's equal to 2.95 times 10 to the minus 9 centimeters are going to cancel, you get it in seconds. So this is basically going to be how long it's going to take it to travel 6.2 centimeters in the horizontal, right? How long it takes it to cover that. So this is your answer to A. But keep in mind what we just solve for. We solve for the time, right? And so what we're trying to find is how far in the Y it travels after it travels 6.2 centimeters. Right, but now, now we know how long it's going to be traveling, right, for it to cover that distance. So the time right here, right, we just solve for that basically, right, because the time is the same for each problem, no matter the x or the y, right? So this is 2.5 times 10 to the minus 9 seconds. And so now we've got this. Notice we have three kinematic variables in the y, so we can solve for delta y. All we have to do is plug it in, right? So the equation we're going to use is the third one right here, delta x, but in this case, it's just delta y. They're, they're replaceable, right? It doesn't make a difference. So it's just delta y equals, and then it's going to be v sub 0, which is 0, times t, which is this, but 0 times anything is 0. So it's just delta y equals 1 half, right? We're just using the third formula, times a. So a is 5.3 times 10 to the 17. So what you're going to have is delta y equals 1 half times 5.3 times 10 to the 17 times 2.95 times 10 to the minus 9 squared, right? And then when you do this, right, plug it in. You're going to get delta y equals 2.31. So 2.31, and then it's going to be in centimeters, right? Because we're using centimeters. 
So delta y is going to be 2.31 centimeters. That's going to be basically how far we travel on the y. So this is going to be your answer to B. So this is B, uh, this was A, and yeah, these are your answers, and hopefully you found this useful.